Hi guys, I'm Techman. Welcome to my YouTube channel, a channel dedicated to solar energy and portable power or portable power stations, such as this one, a portable charger by Power Traveler. This one is called the Power Gorilla. Welcome to this device in another video. First off, who is Techman? I come from a professional background in education and testing equipment and software found in modern devices. More recently, I've been working in the medical field, testing medical equipment, the software behind them, making sure they are in working order and ensuring they are fit for purpose. Now, I've always had a passion for solar power and portable power stations. And putting the two together, solar power and portable power stations is a great combination. Now, over the past few years, I've had a number of individuals on forums and on websites with queries related to their portable power stations and I don't like the limelight and therefore keep myself anonymous. I've helped people with camper vans, RVs, general travellers and people with an enthusiasm or passion for solar power and portable power technology. I've answered queries, helped solve problems and given general advice and I've always been told you need to have a YouTube channel of your own, something I haven't given much consideration at all. Until now. Over the past decade, I've helped a number of brands, some of whom are still in the market today, testing their equipment before they are released in the market. I've thoroughly enjoyed working with manufacturers, building products that last, building products that do what they're supposed to do, and also meet the demands of the consumers. However, in the last 12 months or so, there has been a huge rise in the demands for portable power. You see, portable power started with small devices like this, the Power Gorilla. These devices typically have a capacity of less than 100 watt hours. In the last couple of years, I've noticed that companies and manufacturers are developing products that have a higher capacity, sort of 150 watt hours, 200 watt hours, 300 watt hours, and so forth. Now, this is understandable. You see, we have a lot of technology and devices, and these devices need power. The rise of USB, USB A3.1, and USB C has helped accelerate the general interest in portable power and people need portable power. However, I've noticed that the increase in products has also resulted in the compromise of quality. And this is something that really angers me. I am absolutely furious when a product is developed, marketed, sent out in a market. People purchase the product based on the features and specifications, but they just do not work. They have baseline problems, problems that should never exist, and the customer service of these companies is very, very poor. I've owned such devices and I've seen people have problems with these devices in forums and I've tried to help them sort of communicate with the manufacturers in resolving these issues and it's been a right, right pain. Now comes a big question. What's the purpose of this YouTube channel? Well, the purpose of this channel is to help you. Do I point this way? Or do I point that way? Where's the script? Okay, the purpose of this channel is to help you. Okay, let's start again. The purpose of this channel is to help you and for you to help other people. It's all about helping each other. It's about sharing your knowledge. Knowledge of portable power, solar power and portable power stations. It's about sharing my experience with these products. You also sharing your experience with these products, highlighting the pros of the product, discussing the defects and problems with these products, try troubleshooting them, bringing these problems to the attention of the manufacturer and trying to get to a resolution. This will also help us to understand which manufacturers have a good customer service and are ready to cooperate and which don't. You see, we do have some good products in the market, but the customer service of the manufacturer couldn't be any worse. On the other hand, we have great companies who have excellent products and when there is a problem with the product, they are ready to help and resolve the problem and make it easy for us to return the product in exchange for a new one or provide us with a refund. And that's what we want. We want good quality products and exceptional customer service when it's called upon. You see, I've recommended many products in the past on various forums and websites. And it really does disappoint me when I recommend a product only for that product to fail or for the customer service of the manufacturer to fall short of my expectations of them. I find this a very hard pill to swallow. Therefore, one of the aims of this channel is to not only discuss the products and their features, but also the manufacturers behind them and the customer service they provide. Now, when we shop online on websites such as Amazon, eBay, amongst others, we see many portable power stations in all forms and sizes. 
and there are a number of reviews on these products. Within these reviews, we see many pictures, copy and paste of the product features, but we don't always see the common faults and drawbacks of these products. And there are no six months or 12 months updates, and therefore we are not aware of the common faults that these products have or develop over a short period of time. And that's where I'd like to provide regular updates with the products that I have personally purchased or been provided to me. And that's where I'd like you to provide me with feedback on products that you've purchased and letting me know what is working for you and what isn't. Have you raised this problem with the manufacturer and what has been their response? A great example of this is a product I saw just a few months ago. Now this product was provided to a number of influencers on YouTube who have a good following. And despite the product having a few negatives, it was generally portrayed as an excellent purchase. Now a few weeks later in the medical field, while I was testing some equipment, I came across a fault in the equipment I was testing. It then occurred to me that this product that was promoted on YouTube by many influencers had a huge and fundamental security and safety flaw. I quickly scanned YouTube to see which influencers had promoted the product and I couldn't find a single promoter or influencer who had picked up on that fault. I was then able to communicate with the manufacturer and bring this fault to their attention. They acknowledged this fault and they said this is something they will work on. That's why on this YouTube channel I'd like to discuss the product features, specifications and also the faults and safety concerns I have for those products. And I'd also like you to share your knowledge with me and the wider global audience. But I don't want to stop there. I would also like to communicate with the manufacturers of these products and provide you with an update in terms of where we are in fixing the problems that we have discussed. If you were to purchase a product that I recommend and are having problems with the manufacturer in resolving the problems of these products, please, please do let me know and provide me with the full details of the problems that you are facing with these products. I personally would like to contact the manufacturer, present them with the problems and issues that you are facing and see if we can get the manufacturer to fix those problems or we can come to a resolution. Now, as mentioned before, many people had encouraged me to start my own YouTube channel so that I can discuss products with yourself and you can share your knowledge with me. And in turn, we can share this knowledge with a wider audience. I almost started my own channel 12 months ago. However, due to the breakout of the pandemic and all the chaos they brought, many people found themselves in financial difficulty. And I personally thought it wasn't appropriate to discuss products, their features and promote products that are working well. However, I noticed that despite the financial instability and problems in the world, manufacturers continued to produce portable power stations and people continued to purchase them. In fact, they grew larger and larger in size and companies started competing with each other in terms of features and portable technology. In fact, there's been a huge rise in manufacturers crowdfunding their products on websites and platforms such as Indiegogo and Kickstarter. Now, there are two sides of the argument. Is crowdfunding healthy or is it just a huge scam? And those in the market would understand there are examples of both. I guess if it's a startup company looking to promote their product and also generate some income so that they can purchase material and put their product or idea into production, it's a great way of collecting some funds and generating good interest in your product. However, established companies and in fact multi-million pound companies are using the platform of crowdfunding to generate interest and also to calculate the demand for their product. And I understand both sides of the argument. Manufacturers are saying we want to calculate the demand for our product. We want to exchange ideas, improve our product, and if there is sufficient demand for the product and enough backers, our idea or our product will come into fruition, it will come into production, and also be delivered to those who back the product early. The benefit for the backer is that they receive the product at a discounted rate. Those who oppose this idea say, well, these are multi-million pound companies or well-established companies. They have sufficient funds and stakeholders who can help them bring their ideas into production and get those products delivered to people on time. And they are absolutely right. A question posed to me on a regular basis is, what is your opinion? And my brief answer is, I understand both sides of this argument. You see, I don't have a problem with large-scale companies using the platform of crowdfunding to gather data and information on whether there is a sufficient demand for their product. People can pledge or pre-order their products. There are stretch goals when hitting certain milestones. And if there is sufficient demand, the product will come into production and be delivered to the doorstep of the backers at a discounted rate. The problem I have with this idea is when manufacturers, some of whom are large-scale companies, sell their idea on crowdfunding websites with excellent promotional material and jaw-dropping specifications and backed by prominent websites and influencers on YouTube who, by the way, do do a great job in displaying the pros and the cons of these products. And I don't question their honesty at all. Yet when that product is delivered to your door, it is a complete failure. There are fundamental flaws in the product that should have been ironed out before even left the factory. 
Now, yes, sometimes products do develop faults during shipping, and that I completely understand. However, the rate in faults and the type of faults that these products have question the quality control of these manufacturers or the components that they use in their devices. Not only is a product a complete failure, but to add salt to the wound, the manufacturer is slow to respond to emails. They hate providing refunds, and those who use their hard-earned cash in backing these products are left with a heavy break. Again, that's where I'd like to step in. I'd like to communicate with these manufacturers and hope that they help us resolve issues that we are experiencing. We either get a working product that we ordered or given a full refund. The customer service we receive after sale is as important as pre-sale, if not more. As I mentioned before, this channel is not just about me, but it's about you and it's about all of us, sharing our experiences and ideas and trying to help each other with the products and portable power stations that we purchase. And I hope that knowledge that I have in testing equipment and in portable power stations, combined with your experience and knowledge, can help people make the right choice when they want to purchase portable power stations. Now I'd like to briefly mention and give a shout out to a friend of mine. This chap doesn't want to be named, just wants to go by the letter M. Perhaps I should just call him Agent M. He has persistently asked me to start my own YouTube channel and here we are, with Techman's own YouTube channel. Now I don't have a lot of experience on YouTube or on social media, so M will help me with responding to comments and checking my inbox etc etc, but I don't want this just to be about myself or Agent M, it's about all of us. So every time I put out a video, do feel free to comment, respond to other people's comments and head over to the discussion page where we can have a healthy discussion about these products. Now as I mentioned, I'm not much of a social media individual, nor do I have a presence on one, but it may perhaps be helpful to have a Twitter account. What do you say? Let me know in the comments below. Together with the YouTube channel, the discussion page and my Twitter account, I hope we can share knowledge. Remember, sharing is caring and that's what this channel is all about. Now on a side note, there's a book I read about dying empty. You see, you have a wealth of knowledge and if you don't share your knowledge, you take all that knowledge with you in your grave. Now what's the use of that? Share your knowledge, help each other and die empty. Remember, as the saying goes, every expert was once a beginner and every teacher was once a student. Now I must make clear that one of the aims of my channel is not to make money. I have made a pledge to myself not to place any videos before, during or after any of my videos. I have absolutely no interest in making money from YouTube videos. I hope to self-fund the equipment that I use to make videos and also the portable power stations that we discuss on this channel. And I will make it very clear if a manufacturer provides me a product to test on this channel. Perhaps in the future you could buy me a coffee, but I'd like to put that tip into purchasing products or donating the funds to charitable causes. Well that's enough about me and the channel, let's move on. Now I don't want to lengthen this video too much, but I thought I'd let you know I have some great ideas I want to discuss on this channel, all related to solar power and portable power stations. There are some products I do have of my own that I'd like to also discuss on this channel, such as the Power Gorilla by Power Traveller. This is a device that I've had for almost a decade. The device is not fully functioning as it's supposed to at the moment, but the customer service from the manufacturer has been quite exceptional, and we'll discuss this in another video. Now these types of portable power stations can be charged by solar energy and therefore they are regularly called solar generators. That's the name the industry gives them. What they are in fact are portable power stations which can be recharged in a number of ways including solar power. I will try my best to call them portable power stations but if I do call them solar generators please be kind. I'd also like to discuss a portable power bank by a company known as RidgeMonkey. This one is known as a RidgeMonkey Vault power bank and it's a lovely device. Now I've used this for a couple of years and generally it has performed very well. But as you can see, at this moment in time, it's not working. We'll discuss this in another video. Another product I'd like to discuss is the Power OK5. This is an interesting device which was purchased in the States. Now I've owned a couple of power banks from Power Oak, who are also known as Max Oak or Bluetti, but my experience with these power banks has not been very good. We'll discuss the product features and the problems I've had with them in another video. Now I plan to generally concentrate on this channel on portable power stations but I do have a couple of lithium iron phosphate batteries in my solar bank. So we'll discuss those batteries and my experience with them, but as I mentioned, we'll mainly focus on portable power stations. Now, if you are looking at purchasing this item, which you see on the screen at the moment, stop. Do not purchase this portable power station or solar generator. I've purchased this one and I've had experience and discussions with people who have purchased them all over Europe. And generally, this power station does not work as it is advised. It does house lithium and phosphate batteries, but I believe they are hugely degraded grade C or grade D cells. And the quality of the components in this power station is very, very low. So if you're thinking of purchasing one, just hold back and look elsewhere. Now, if you have purchased one of these power stations and are still within the return window, I would advise return the product for a full refund. And if you are having problems, open up a case and try to get the product returned to the manufacturer in return for a full refund. If you have purchased this product and are having problems, let me know in the comments below. 
Of course, this advice is based on my experience with this power station. And when we discuss this power station in more detail, I'll bring forward evidence from other users who've had the same problems. Now, I'd also like to discuss a couple of power stations that I myself have backed on Indiegogo or have been backed by my dear friend Agent M due to my recommendations. Now, these campaigns haven't run very well at all. The communication from manufacturers has been poor and there have been significant delays in getting the product into production and then delivered to the backer. I'd like to discuss those products on this channel and I sincerely hope that whoever had backed any project on Indiegogo or Kickstarter received the product they backed and if there are any problems the manufacturer makes it easy to return the product in exchange for another one or provide a full refund. Personally I have backed the Leoc 2048 Watt Tower portable power station. This is based on my experience with Leoc AGM batteries. I've had an excellent experience with them and they have been used in some of the equipment that we use in medical emergencies. The Leoc portable power station actually houses a 24 volt lithium ion phosphate battery. It looks to be a great value for the money. There has been some delays especially for European backers and of late there's been a few problems with the product itself. A number of backers have mentioned problems when using the AC outlets of these devices. There seems to be a common OCP or overcurrent protection error and backers have not been slow in highlighting this issue on Indiegogo. Now to be fair Leoc are saying they are looking into this and say if the product cannot be fixed a replacement will be available to those who experience this problem. We'll take a deeper look into the Leoc once it arrives. My dear friend Agent M has backed the All Powers Monster X portable power station. Now that campaign has been plagued with delays and All Powers have not done themselves any favours with the lame excuses they've had for those delays. You can't always blame Covid for all your problems. Yes, Covid has caused delays in product development and shipping has also been affected. But there are many examples of manufacturers who face those challenges and delivered their products in a timely manner. If there are delays, just be honest. Tell your backers what the problem is. If you have a problem in your internal testing and quality control, just be honest and let everybody know. Be transparent. If you are facing issues with transporting and shipping products, again, let your backers know at the first instance and provide timely updates on when you think those products will be shipped and delivered. There are a number of other power stations that I've been following on Indiegogo, but we'll discuss all of this in an upcoming video on Indiegogo and crowdfunding as a whole. Remember, there are a number of cheap portable power stations on the market, which house cheap quality components. So be sure to do your due diligence and market research before you throw your money at them. And if you are a manufacturer of one of the products that we discuss on this channel, and you'd like to discuss and attend to the issues that we highlight on this channel, do feel free to reach out to me on my email address or in the comment section below. And either myself or Agent M will respond to your email. Right guys, it's time for me to sign out. I'm Techman, stay safe and I'll see you in the next one.